Hello everyone, hopefully all of you are enjoying your weekend. I am feeling a ton better. Tea and everything else has cured me. Uh, <laughs> the amount of allergy pills, I was on an antibiotic, you know, <laughs> the list goes on and on. I'm back, well, I've been back, but <laughs> fully me, uh, not until today. Hopefully I don't sound too bad. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Anyway, just, you know, it, it's whatever. It's all good. I don't know. Myth set up today, team. 1v1. Highly requested video. Now, before we get into things, let me first off say this is by no means, you know, the one way of doing Myth PvP 1v1, but it has served me well so far. Uh, I'm currently a knight, actually. I'm 14 and 5. As of course, not recording every match, been doing a fair amount of matches off the record. Um, plan on getting Warlord this month, actually, before Polaris rolls in, tumbles with snow, etc., right? So, I mean, when you think about it, we're probably about 15 to 20 matches away from getting that Warlord. Uh, pretty remarkable. Um, now, considering that, I will lose more, and that's okay. Overall, I think at least three or four of my losses have been to fires from second, and that's to be expected. That's just the way it is. I mean, I don't know. That's the current meta. I'm not going to rant too much about how I think that is today. You know, maybe that might be some other video recapping over my entire experience. But today, let's do this setup team right here, right now. We're doing it live. Okay. Now, anyway, excuse me. Without further ado, the, uh, the first thing we're going to put in are two stun blocks. Stun blocks are really important. When you don't have conviction up or you can't find conviction, stun block is perfect. You don't need more than two. Tower shields. This is where the numbers get a little bit wonky in between people's opinions. How many should I put in? How, how much is too much? How much is too little? The way I'm going to go about it, team, you at least need, well, especially for myth, I think for a lot of schools as well, the average is five to six i would say you can go as low as four but that's pushing it um i'm gonna put in for my own sake six uh, i think it's really important tower shields in this meta that first line of defense against what 40 to 50 pierce well 50 pierce is a little extreme 30 to 40 pierce is the new normal across the board just expect that if you're going into peeve for the first time next thing now this also is kind of like a little bit of a toss-up right early on pvp you see a lot of storm wizards you really do debatable i mean i haven't fought that many storms nate has uh, i know a couple of my other friends have fought a lot of storms even into the later pvp um it's kind of one of those things now i'm comparing volcanic shield here team with the ever important thermic shield required with three extra training points to get from the frog himself Baelstrom. now kind of the way it is you need an ice shield ice is in my my personal opinion number one in pvp right now that can go with an insane record uh most consistent compared to fire both are intertwined whoever goes first Let's be honest. Thermic Shield, for me personally, I'm going to put in... It's it's kind of like a ratio, right? For me personally right now, since I'm a knight, I'm not going to see a lot of storms. And if I do, well, you know, try and kill them quick and then use some tower shields. But for right now, I'm going to put in... Um, how many is that? Three, four, five? You can put in five to six. You need to play... You need to have these shields in. No matter volcanic and or thermic, higher rank, I definitely agree to put in thermic. 
You need that fire shield. You need that ice shield way over the storm shield. Anyway, sorry. Little tangent going on about that. Now, the next most important thing here, team, is Colossals. Oh, he's like fishing. I'm going to move over a little bit. My right ear it was struggling. Apologize for that. GL Daniel. Going to the water to cleanse a bit. Colossal. Now, here's where people are kind of funny here. You know, your main deck should be utility. That's the way I've been playing for, oh gosh, second age. That's my opinion. Utility wise, I would go for five to six Colossal. No more, no less. You can put five in, you can put six in. I, I mean, six is a good amount. You can take one or out per each one of these cards. It's all up to you. The next thing, team. Two sharpened blades. You don't need to clutter your deck with sharpened blades. Even though blading for myth, especially getting those boosts, is important. It's, it's not, you know, sharpens, you don't need to rely on them. Uh, so, yeah. Next thing, team. We're going over to the myth bubble. Let alone a, a bubble changer compared as like a scenario with ice. They're going to want a bubble, right? They have a set number, amount, right, that they're going to have in. You have a bubble change and or if you have nothing else to do, you're just going to pop it for a boost, right? You're going to put two of them in. Well, that's what I do. Moving on here, one of the more important and kind of overlooked spells that is an amazing spell calendar you need to put one of those in calendar will win you the game <laughs> uh it's it's as simple as that you know when it gets into late game and you have nothing else they have conviction up they have stun blocks up you're not finding king art and you have a blade up and whatever whatever else you have calendar will win you the game it just does i i can't i can't describe it it just it works miracles the next thing Kind of the ratios up to you, but no more than two of either one talking about these kind of spells. We'll get into the TCs and why it's more important to have the other stuff. Uh, next part. As you all may have realized and have noted, if you are an avid PvPer, uh, this age is dominated by three schools. Fire, life, ice. There's no... There's no uh, debate there to be honest there really isn't might change with Polaris that would be amazing if it did uh, <laughs> you know anyway yeah that's that's a little side thing you need to put in three uh, either ether shields I think it's either shield gotta have also for those high level death wizards that struggled to get and are trying to get that warlord but they are high rank there are a couple of those out there, team. There are. Do not disregard them. Uh, putting in the Aether Shield will help you out a bit. Next thing. Uh, Keeper of the Flame. One of those. Keeper of the Flame is a, an amazing spell. Does mass damage enchanted. Then puts a plus 25 up. Synchronizes well with Colossus. Uh, oh my gosh. What a great spell. King Art. The number one spell you want to use uh, instead of Medusa when they do put up that Conviction and or Stun Block. You can use Medusa, but it's better to use your alternative spells. Uh, Calendar, Colossus, King Art, and whatnot. <clears throat> Moving on forward, this is kind of an interesting one. Kind of a different twist, if you will, on how the way the meta is. It's a very fast-paced meta. Normally, people will run out of cards. They will. That's just the way it is. Now, for me personally, I need to have one Talos in. Um, you can go up to two. I'm going to have one for me. Uh, it's kind of one of those spells where if you're going up against a balance, per se, and you're first, and it pops up, and you know they're going to mana burn you, right? They're going to pop it brainlessly. But that's just the way it is, and it's effective. But if you have this and you use Talos, you summon a big 
and then the potential to blade you and or hit them or boost on them and then they completely wasted their turn when you have no pips what a great feeling one of those spells that's situational but can win you a game uh moving forward minotaur minotaur and orthrus actually kind of more situational spells as well but is a critical one removing a shield then doing damage preferably minotaur orthrus it's just one of those things where it's also again situational but can you win you the game um going towards blades kind of one of those fishy things or kind of sketchy things that people kind of uh wonder about i only put in four and you may you know is that is that too low uh no not really i think four is fine enough uh the next spell that you need either crafted and or farmed for is ninja pigs ninja pigs is so important uh it's one of those spells that does math you won't use it every game and or in like pockets of like five games but it's so good when you need it uh moving forward well kind of going back two shifts shifts uh <laughs> shifts are so good team uh pushing over the damage that they're doing to the overtime target if fire's feeling cheeky and they're using that new i think it's burning rampage or whatever that dinosaur is and they get antsy, you pop that shift up, you give them that 5,000 tick that they just put on you, and you do some, and it's GG. It's remarkable. You gotta love it. I'd, rep I'd put in two. Uh, the next thing, for times where you need a stun, put in two. It's a situational, but it's good. Two stuns here. Uh, one troll, just because troll can win you games it has for me uh going to the death section uh one faint and then moving over to three strike uh to finish out the deck you know is infection necessary i mean yeah maybe against life but let's face it if you're gonna face a life your chances are really low of winning and that's just the way it is their ability to crit heals re like regardless even if you have an infection on, they're still doing 2,000 heal, you know, yada, yada. But anyway, that's a debatable spell you can put in uh, to your leisure. So that's the main setup for the deck. Uh, it's kind of interesting for this age. Now, going to the TCs. This is where, team, this is where it's really important. You have to, I, you don't have to have these TCs, but I highly recommend it. The ratios, once again, are not set, but this is, the, this is kind of the... Uh, the kind of the overall setup I have. Two shields. Um, moving to the myth section. We need bubbles. Where are those at? A couple of these 45s are pre preferable. If not, you can always use the 35s. Um, kind of harder to get. I know this is the Eye of Bartleby. You can get it from those packs. If you have nothing else to do. Uh, moving a little bit further. Cal or calendar really important i need to make more tc of all to be honest i haven't done that for a while i think for only one other time but calendar you need to put two in i have actually lost a match because i couldn't find a calendar and i only had one in you need two that's a lesson i learned the hard way uh colossus you need five of them in uh five is a good number four or five really important spell of winning it just is the damage is remarkable. If you get that Shadow Pip and you have a boost, just brainlessly use it. It's so good. Uh, okay, so anyway, Keeper of the Flame. The next one, you kind of uh, realize that. One of those in King Artorius. Wow, what a spell. Three to four is really good. Basically, your only other way of winning with other exceptions uh with blades and boost does like 2000 tick boggles my noggin team medusa medusa used to be a spell where it would be more it would have more of an important role than so basically in other ages would be more important than what it is now even though it is just as important let's be honest everyone's gonna conviction everyone's gonna stun block that's just the way it is now but still really important uh two to three of those really good 
going back to my TC section. Excuse me. Couple of Minotaurs, one or two. These are really good. I mean, honestly, they're just as good as Ninja Pigs or better because you get the two hits, remove a shield, and then hit. Really remarkable. The debate the debate really lies is if you need an Orthrus TC, you can always have it in and or out. Once again, 7 pip, it's a little expensive. Normally, I would keep it out, but I just wanted to show you that. Now, <laughs> this spell is so so good it i mean this this rat illusionist has won me i think three or four games just because it sets up so well removing shields it's so good you need four of them in you get them from the bazaar what a remarkable spell the next one which are really hard to find to be honest i have no clue where they come from i forgot i think they come from a pack uh, and or you farm for them. I forgot. I find them in the bazaar. You need two to three chi Chimenias. Basically a four pip get them. Does damage. And then puts a volcanic shield on yourself. Unbelievably amazing. So good and so important. Next thing up on the table here. Three to four convictions. Uh, as you actually progress, you can switch out with Conviction with Fortify. But then be careful regardless because if you face a balance, if you use any bubble, they're going to pop it. And that's just the way it is. But it's better to have it in than not, in my opinion. The last couple of things here, team, which are completely up to you. Uh, I don't even think I have any more TC left, but you could go get... Uh, 45 Myth Blades from, uh, I think it's Una, and she's on the, uh, same, uh, archway as Alan Ghost Dust, and she sells those TC. If you need TC Blades, go for it. Uh, I think it's more important for Death to have them, but definitely for Myth. And kind of one of the last things here to wrap things up, I always keep in, well, I only have one in power, but I, I rarely use it. But if I have nothing else to do and it's just one of those situational cards. Empower would be good, I think, for a lot of schools. If you have nothing else to do, take some damage, get pips, and then maybe possibly that next round, get a shadow pip and a power pip, Colossus, and it's GG. It's just one of those. So anyway, team, that is a setup of my deck. Uh, I hope that has helped those who have been struggling figure out what to put in once again not completely set numbers and or what's in here but really important um but yeah it's kind of the way it is team one last little overview of what i put in uh once again blades if you need them and or more shields is what it is and if you like putting in mantles you can do that or you can put in freezes whatever you know suits your uh suits your play style but anyway team Take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all next time.